Hey, Glenn came back. Hey, check it out. So, um, I want to do some. You know, I love sauces, so I want to make another sauce. This particular sauce that I'm making is good for seafood boils, fried foods, sandwich spreads. You can use that sandwich spread. You know, Mama Shaw, she tried it, and she said it reminds her the taste reminds her of deviled eggs. Uh, the reason why it does is because a lot of the flavors, the profile that you're putting in this. Uh, are very similar to what might be in a deviled egg. So if you enjoy deviled eggs, you're going to low-key love this one, but you ain't going to tell nobody because you're going to save it for yourself. Uh, so I made a little batch, okay, right? But I also put some of the squirt balls so I can use it, like, really, really quickly. And you saw the thumbnail. This is what we got. Yeah. Yeah. Try the sauce. Let me get a French fry. Now, now, this sauce will hold in the refrigerator easily for a week. Okay. Try the shrimp. Oh. Hmm. Now. If you want to see how I cook my shrimp, I'll put an icon up so you can see how I deep fry it. It's on my it's on my po boy uh, video, the one I like in it. But it's deep fried, and that'll show you how to do it. So again, hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you for your support. We hit 3K. Didn't think I'd ever make that, but we made it. And I hope I'm able to help you. And if you subscribe, arms are open. If not, come on. You can join the peanut gallery. Let's get this going. Hey, this is Charles Sharon. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. All right, real simple. So uh, we have here a couple of tablespoons of mustard, yellow mustard. You can use any mustard you want, whether it be stone ground, Dijon mustard, any German mustard will work. We have ketchup, a couple of tablespoons of ketchup. We have a couple of tablespoons of hot sauce. Use any hot sauce you want. <clears throat> Um, and here we have apple cider vinegar. Again, a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use regular vinegar. That's fine as well. Here we have a couple tablespoons of sugar. You don't have to put the sugar in there, but it depends on your mayo. So, which brings me to my next point. I bought three quarters of a cup of mayo. Okay. I'm using Dukes. Uh, Dukes has like a little twang to a little bit of a sweetness. So you, if you use Dukes, you really don't have to use sugar, but that's pretty much how I get my sugar intake just through my foods because I don't really eat that much candy per se. Um, so I like it a little sweet. So that's what we have. So let's get to it. It's real simple. So we're going to add our sugar. Sugar in. Spread it all around there. Apple cider vinegar goes in. Put the hot sauce in. Because the hot sauce is going to give it that little extra little twang. You know, that's that little bit of heat. It's not going to be overpowering because of the amount of uh, mayo and sugar that's in there. So you're good there. Ketchup. That's why I like to use a spatula so I can really get in there. And your mustard. Boom. Okay. And we 
mix this up. Then once it gets fully incorporated, of course we're gonna taste it and see if we need to add any salt, any pepper, anything. Uh, but this is a base sauce. Looks really good. Okay, let me get some tasting chopsticks. See if we're, we're where we should be. Okay. Yeah. This is where we should be. Of course we are. We're going to put this bad boy in a jar. So we can put it in the refrigerator to chill. Use that spatula to your advantage. Yep. See? Spatula takes it takes care of it all. Okay. Here we go. In the fridge. Okay, so this is gonna go into the refrigerator. You want it to chill um, for at least a half hour to an hour so that the flavors can meld. Now, most of the ingredients, uh, they should be cold at the start, so you won't have to wait that long. But the thing is, you want the ingredients time to get to know each other, okay? Now, when we come back, it's going to be chilled. Um, probably going to make some shrimp, uh, maybe some fish, um, french fries or something. We'll see. Um, so you can see how you would use this because this can go... Like I said, on a sandwich, a po' boy, um, basic cold cut sandwich, uh, but it can really go with any seafood, right? That's guaranteed, okay? Especially in the seafood boils and such, excellent, okay? So I'll see you in a bit, a little later on, and we'll keep it going. See you in a bit. Okay, just real quick, I know you're watching the video right now, but just real quick, look. Uh, you asked for it. The hot sauces are available, right, uh, at strawshirah.com. It's sweet. It's thick. Oh, tropical habanero. I know you're going to love it. So check it out. Let me let you get back to your video. Enjoy your day. My fries here. Get my shrimp. In the basket. I guess I could have put the shrimp and the fries in the same basket. I'll end up doing that. Watch. All right. Now I put some of the sauce in the squeeze bottle, and we're going to drizzle it on the shrimp. Yes. Excellent. Nice and festive. We're gonna put this, put this right in there like that. Yep. That's here we got.
All right, so here we have it. This is a southern dipping sauce. Uh, you mainly use it for seafood, but you can use it on fried foods, you know, chicken. I'm going to be using it with french fries here. You know, you can use it with pork. If you want to dip it, enjoy the dip. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. But I really want to see the comments, okay? And definitely, if you try this yourself, let me know. I want to see how you like it, okay? Also, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, right? We have room for you. The peanut gallery is always growing, and we want to keep growing. We'll leave the light on for you so you can find us even in the dark. Also, if we're not connected on Instagram, please go to Instagram. Put my name in, Shiraw Shiraw. Look for the great cat. Let's connect. That being said, I'm about to get all over this. Oh, man. Woo. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.